Yo, what is up guys? It is Esports Content Entertainment coming at you guys with another video here today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Mad Lions, Armut, and Dignitas. So, as you guys already know, Dignitas is the best LCS organization of all time. They have won 10 LCS championship titles. I just couldn't imagine that they don't make any bad decisions at all, you know, bringing Blue over from SK Gaming, you know, obviously, like, randomly, you know, changing up their roster during, uh, week 8 and 9 of the LCS 2022 Summer Split regular season, Dignitas makes all the best decisions. Remember when Dardock was popping off for their team, you know, all of, like, 2021, and then they just decided to, you know, get rid of him for Acadian. Yeah, Dignitas and making good decisions. You just can't name a more iconic duo than that. Well, obviously, guys, I'm being sarcastic. Um, So this was actually pretty interesting uh, news to hear uh, because, as you guys know, um, Armut joined Mad Lions during the LEC 2021 Spring Split. Mad Lions actually lost to Armut's team during the League of Legends 2020 World Championship of that year in the play-in stage where Armut was on the Turkish representative team at the time known as Supermassive Esports. Armut clapped and destroyed Mad Lions' current top laner at that moment in time known as Arome. So the Mad Lions went, you know what, that motherfucker is good, we need that guy on our team. So then during 2021, Mad Lions win both splits, they finish top four, at MSI, they actually bring Damwon to five games, which is actually really crazy. No one really talks about that. That year, they brought Damwon to five games during the 2021 midseason Invitational. And then they got out of the group stage and made top eight at the 2021 League of Legends World Championship. Though that group stage they were in, it was pretty much anyone's game during that group. But then they got destroyed by Damwon during Worlds of that year. They actually lost 3-0. They actually regressed from their 3-2 series to their 3-0 series against Damwon from last year. So, obviously, this year, you know, Mad Lions don't win any titles. Um, They don't make playoffs during the LEC 2022 Summer Split. They make playoffs in the LEC 2022, you know, Summer Split. But the thing here is that they don't win any BO5s and they qualify for Worlds, you know? Crazy, right? They don't win any BO5s and just qualify for Worlds. They do beat uh, Sinyun Buffalo, you know, during the League of Legends 2022 World Championship playing stage. They win, like, one BO5 out of, like, four against a team that probably also could have beat them. Now, the thing with Armut is that Armut has been a very meh player, all things considered. He really can only play, like, Gnar and Mordekaiser. You know, I mean, there was a time period where we had Wukong as a top laner, um, but he was he was like okay on that. Like when Wukong was a top laner, he played that pretty well. But he can really only ever play Nar very well. Like his top lane pool is very weak. He's just a very okay player. He's just nothing super impressive. And I think you know when you're on like championship, you know, winning rosters like he was a part of, you need to actually bring more to the table. Now, yes, he did win two championships with Mad Lions, but he was not the deciding factor of those championships. I'm being honest with you, El Yoya, <sighs> Humanoid, Karzi, and Kaiser, I'll say those three, El Yoya, Humanoid, and Kaiser were the best parts about why Mad Lions were really good, even this year, when they had Niski and Unforgiven, better parts than Armut, and yeah, like, obviously, they're going to be getting a new top laner, um, they were going to get Summit, but Summit decided to explore his options in the LCS, Summit was the top laner for Cloud9 during the LCS 2022 Spring Split, who was also previously a part of LCK when he was on Sandbox Gaming. Uh, right here, uh, at Esports Person tweets, Sources, Armut has reached a verbal agreement with Dignitas in the LCS, however, there is no agreement yet between Mad Lions and Dignitas, both teams will negotiate over the buyout of the player. Armut would actually be a pretty big upgrade over Hoon, and he would be a big upgrade over Gamsu. You know what's so crazy about Dignitas and why, why they're so fucking trash? Gamsu, I'm not gonna go over Gamsu's history, that's a lot of history right there. But Gamsu finally makes his way back into the LCS. You know, after being gone, playing Overwatch, he played on other rosters before, he even played on Dignitas before, back in the day. Came back to the org, and then, you know what, they're like, you know what, let's bench this guy for Hoon. Then, Dignitas starts swapping up their roster. 
at the end of the regular fucking season, you can't do that, you know? So at the end of the regular season, Dignitas are like, you know what, screw it, we can't make playoffs, we'll just fuck up our roster, you know? If Dignitas want to do anything in the LCS, guys, Dignitas is, I, I think, that, did one split they make top four? I think back in the day, they made top four, I think, in one split before I was actually watching, but as long as I've been watching Dignitas, in the LCS, the best year they had was in like 2017, the LCS 2017 summer split where they made it to that third place match, and then ever since then, they've just been pretty much dog shit, yeah, I guess you could say they were out of the league for a little bit, but then they came back the same year, and you know, the best thing they've ever had was like that third place match, you know, against COG, but they also went 3-0 during that year too, so yeah, dude, it's also just badly run, or I don't know what the fuck they're doing, you know? Uh, right here is the article. Sources, Armut has reached a verbal agreement with Dignitas. Armut will be joining Dignitas in the LCS for the 2023 season. According to sources close to Jackson, the top laner has reached an agreement with Dignitas in the LCS. After two years on Mad Lions and a lot of achievements, the Turkish top laner will be changing regions as he is headed to the LCS. However, the deal is not finalized yet between Dignitas and Mad Lions, with both teams expected to continue negotiations over the signing. End of an era. It's an end of an era for Armut and Mad Lions. After two years on the team, the top laner will be leaving the organization with a lot of achievements behind its back. Armut is a two-time LEC champion and was a part of the dominant 2021 Mad Lions team, which conquered Europe. Before coming to Mad Lions, Armut was already known among European fans from his Turkish time, tur from his time in Turkey's TCL. With Supermassive Blaze, he famously beat Mad Lions in the first round of the World's 2020 Play-In Knockout Round. The top laner's performance caught the eye of the Spanish side, who signed him during the 2020 season, 2020 offseason. However, following a whirlwind 2021 campaign in which Mad Lions won back-to-back -back LAC titles, they could not keep up the pace in 2022. The team finished 7th in the spring's 2022 split before bouncing back in summer to reach Worlds. That campaign was cut short as Mad fell to Evil Geniuses in the second round of the play-in knockouts, with the team falling well short of expectations. Major roster changes were to be expected. If Dignitas and Mad can reach a deal, Armut will look to bounce back in North America. Yeah, the thing here is, Mad, I'm pretty sure it's already confirmed that Niski and... El Yoya are staying, because El Yoya is not going to go to G2 now. We know that Mad Lions are bringing back Karzi, and we also know that Hillisang is joining Mad Lions. I mean, I wouldn't call that major roster changes. They get a random top laner who they really don't know is going to be that good, and you're going to get Hillisang. I mean, that's random as it gets, you know? But Dignitas getting armored is fine. I mean, that's a good pickup for them. I think they need a stable top laner. I mean... Dignitas' top laners are just a meme at this point. Who they had before? There was that one guy they had who was trash for a while. It was Fate God. Fate God. I thought Gamsu was pretty solid for what they needed, but they threw him away really quickly. Um, you had Hoon, and you had the other guy they played before that. He was fucking dog shit. Like they've, they've always just had dog shit players. I mean, they have to just get these. If they want to at least be the Excel of the LCS, they're going to have to know how to manage their players better. Like, I just don't get it. Like, why do you change up your roster with there's like two weeks left in the in a, in a regular season to make playoffs? I just, I just don't get it. And they usually, when they make playoffs, they go out the first round. But if Dignitas can change up the roster and actually get somewhat decent players, let's be honest with you guys, Dig is not competing for a title. They're just trying to compete to play and make playoffs, right? That's fine. At least, if you're going to be at least doing that, can you at least pick a good roster of players that showed some promise but maybe have fallen off armor was that player showed a lot of promise then kind of fell off if you do players like that i think that'd be fine for them what do you guys think about armut joining dignitas i will see you guys later like comment and subscribe most of all enjoy i am msk and this is esports content entertainment your one place for esports content all right guys deuces peace